Judging from my constant usage of cracks in my painting and styles, you could see that cracks are the central element in what I create. My name is Omechi Nemerum Kingsley. I'm a Nigerian artist. I'm a painter. Studied fine and applied at the University of Nigeria in Suka. And today I practice what I learned. And Suka, to a very large extent, contributed in my, in my creation and the kind of art I create. <laughs> Having lived in Suka all my life and University of Country School being my high school, I countless times see um, the rainy season pave way for dry season and when it comes like during December you find out that the, the, the ground actually cracks. I saw it as something beautiful, something that I would love to touch because of the, the rough texture. It, that's not the way it normally is, that's not the way it used to be. So uh, the crack in my, in my painting serves as a metaphor, you know, as pain, famine, anger, um, just looking forward to beautiful tomorrow, but most times people don't have that patience for rainy season. So all we rely on is that pain we feel, all we rely on is that ugly moment. Suka so is like home. Suka has always been like um, that spark of lies because of the weather in particular, the topography, where you have the hills, the mountains, the birds, the calmness, the, the sweetness that comes from Nsuka, the food, the people, everything about Nsuka is always beautiful. And as an artist, it's, it's always encouraging to create in Nsuka, and most especially the school where we happen to exist in UNN. You know, in one way or the other, subconsciously, you, you suck in, you absorb these things, that you can't stop being a lion have always wanted to give back to the, to the school what has been given to you. That's why you have some of my murals in school. Quarter as a city whereby I, I exist has influenced me very, very well. When you talk about the streets, when you talk about the people, when you talk about the lifestyle, art as a, as a field of study is not just interpretation of images. You are not just painting to entertain people. You are not just painting for beauty. In my own world, I paint not just for aesthetic purposes. I try to speak a language. I try to let people see my view. I try to let people feel my desire for a green world. In expressing myself as an artist, realism has always been my technique from the onset. So the whole realistic, beautiful canvas rendering was my first way of expression. But since I didn't get what I was looking for, like the world didn't turn to what I expected, it changed the way I expressed myself from realism to abstract. But then that movement where I have to stop realism and started my abstract was a quest to express a deeper feeling. So realism didn't do much justice in the kind of expression I needed to portray my points and my central elements. So I deviated from just cracks and beautiful painting canvas to a very rough canvas. My emotions went wild on canvas and it was just very brutal. Strokes of brush, dead colors, using them, mixing them with linseed oil to portray how I feel. That's why you have works titled Lost in Translation. You have work titled Far Cry. You have works titled Impermissible and Adult. So it's, you see all these things happen because of hate, because of lack of love. And that is why I address social commentaries and social issues. Because if I have love for the world to change, I should be able to fight for it, not just speak. So this is my own way of fighting. This is my own way of expressing myself, preaching the truth I feel. <laughs> I've addressed a lot of issues that have gone beyond Nigeria when you talk about homosexuality. In contrast, when you talk about um, the headsmen, the killings that I'm trying to let know, the esoteric imprints of the grazers, what happens after they have gone, different from the homosexuality which I'm working on, and other um, international social commentaries. 
holding a brush or holding a palette knife trying to drive the colors on the canvas, I feel like I'm holding JPMG, General Purpose Machine Gun, like pa 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 pa, like a weapon. It's my tool of fighting. So anytime I'm on canvas, I'm facing, I feel like I'm there to solve a problem. This is not just for aesthetics, but the desire for a beautiful Nigeria and our society becoming better. So I feel like someone who is going to liberate these people, I'm going to make a change. No matter how high a monkey climbs, he would continue climbing if there is a branch to climb on. So starting from Umsuka, where I grew up, exploring cracks and I've moved from Umsuka to Port Harcourt, from Port Harcourt to almost every corner of Nigeria, exploring their lifestyle and their practice and how they perceive us. So I think I'm ready to a very large extent to embrace the, the new world I find myself in and things happening out of Nigeria.